guys. It's springtime, at least here in New England it's spring, and we get to, to be that time of year again where you're gonna be spending more time outside, and um, there'll be different things that you'll be using on a patio, on the side of your pool, on a picnic, out by the beach. Um, and one of the things that I wanna show you is, I mean, everyone that's been outside, you know how much of a pain bugs can be. And I wanna do another little product, product review for you guys. Um, this is actually a bug zapper. What makes this unique is, let's say you have a really big yard, or you've got a special spot, and you want to have at least some protection against the bugs. Well, what this does is actually got a solar panel on top that actually charges it, so you don't have to plug it in. Um, we're going to take it out of the box, so I'll plug it in and show you guys. Then we'll do a demonstration. But I want to show you guys the bug zapper, um, just to show you, just in case you have a lot of bugs where you are. And this one is self-cleaning, and I'll show you what that means. Okay, so why don't we take a look at this self-cleaning solar mosquito killer lantern. And like I said in the introduction, it's getting to be that time of year again with all the bugs. And this one is actually going to be rechargeable by the sun. This one can be solar powered. You can plug it in also. And you can see that right there, it's self-cleaning. What it does is there's actually a brush. And when you hold the button down for about five or six seconds, the brush actually starts to rotate. You let go of the button and it'll rotate clockwise twice and then it'll turn around and go counterclockwise twice and there's a little pan on the bottom catch pan for all the little bug carcasses that fall in and this is the mosquito killer lantern uh, let's see looking at the sides of the box you can see it uh, hanging in the garden looking at the box uh, excuse me looking at the back of the box self-cleaning solar mosquito killer lantern it's 165 by 215 millimeters and it weighs 627 grams. It's got a lantern, mosquito killer, lighting mode 20%, 50%, or 100%, and it is rainproof. Now it's rainproof, it's not waterproof. You can't submerge it. Little diagram, it shows you the power switch on top and a solar panel and the hanger. On the bottom of the unit, you can see where you lock it into place, and when you unlock it, that's where the uh, the tray, um, you're able to discharge all the bodies of the bugs. We got the micro USB port, and we're going to do that um, because it's going to take too long for the, uh, the sun to solar power it. And then you got the mosquito killer net. And let's see, self-cleaning bug zapper. And let's see, is that something different on this side? You can see it's got a power switch, it's got a hanger, the input for charging, and a self-cleaning brush for the outdoors. And back to the front. And there's nothing on the bottom. And on the top, it just says self-cleaning solar mosquito killer lantern. So why don't we go ahead and we'll take it over to the desk where there's more room and there's more light and I'll show you guys what it looks like and then we'll uh, see how it works. Okay, there's more light at the desk. I'll show you guys the box. Again, you can see the sun on a solar panel and a self-cleaning brush. And you can see it hanging in the garden. And you can see the diagrams with the power switch, the solar panel, and the hanger, and the mosquito bin on the bottom with the micro USB port and the mosquito killer net. Okay, why don't we go ahead and open it up. All right, first of all, looks like we have, let's see what this is. Self-cleaning solar mosquito killer lantern. And it shows the size, 165 by 21. 
215 millimeter, 627 grams. Lantern mosquito. This is basically what was on the box. Technical parameters. And you can see some of the, well, the parameters. Ultraviolet LED. The built in battery. Input voltage, 5 volts. Four hours for a fully charged time. Optional method, lantern. Press the lantern switch and shift to shift lighting mode from 20%, 50%, and to 100%, and then off. Mosquito killer, press the mosquito killer switch for two seconds. When the UV light flickers one time, it means it's turned on and will flicker three times means that it's going to uh, it's about to turn off. The mosquito killer works automatically in the night. Stop work in the day via photoelectric sensor after mosquito killer is turned on. So if you forget to put it off at night and it runs all night, as soon as the sun comes up, it will stop. The input charge is a micro USB cable connect with the AC adapter. Charging indicator. The, um, will go on the red when the input charging will go on off after fully charged. Brush the self clean per every 72 hours. And caution do not look directly into the LED as it may cause damage to your eyes. Well, that's disturbing. This product is not a toy, it contains small parts not suitable for children under 5 years of age. Turn off the light when input charge. And you can see again the diagrams and you can see how it cleans when we release the bug bin on the bottom. All right, that's all the paperwork that uh, I see, well, at least all the paperwork that's on top. So, let's see, let's take the unit out. And looks like we got a Looks pretty cool. We've got a um, USB port right there, and looks like we have the the um, solar panel. It's got like a plastic film. Let's go ahead and take the film off. Yeah. And let's see if it's charged. Oh, it does come charged. Okay, so when you push the button once, you have the, the light twice, you bring it up to 50%, three times, and you bring it to the full power, and then off. Um, let's see, I know it's supposed to come with a USB cable. Um, it's supposed to come with a USB charger, and Oh, there it is. It's in the bottom. I thought I heard it kind of shaking around. Is that everything in the box? Yep, the rest is just um, cardboard. So let's put this all aside. Actually, use this as a backdrop. Okay. Okay, so. Um, it does have somewhat of a charge in it. Why don't we go ahead and demonstrate? All right, let me show you guys. Let's get it nice and dark. Okay, so when you get it out of the box, um, what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, we're gonna charge it with the USB charger for four hours, but because it does have a little bit of a charge, what I wanna do is I wanna show you the lantern. So when you push it once, you're gonna get 20% of the light. And when you push it again, it's going to increase to 50% of the light capacity. And when you push it all the way down for the third time, it's going to be 100%. So this is going to be 100%. So if you want to go around with it and carry it, you can see the bottom. Pretty bright. Really nice. Okay, as so we're going to plug it in and we're going to charge it up. And again, it comes with the USB cord. And let me show you guys how it goes in. It goes in right there. It 
just like that. And then we put it into a USB plug. Like that. And you can see when it's red, it's charging. And as soon as it's finished charging, the light's gonna go off. So what we gotta do now is we gotta wait. And we gotta wait for it to charge. Okay, so it's been quite some time. And as you can see, the light is off. So as of right now, it's fully charged. So let's try that again. We're gonna try doing the, the demonstration. Make sure it's nice and dark in here. And when you hold it down, it's gonna flash twice and then it's gonna be activated. I think I understand why it's not operating. So the light sensor is still showing that it's daylight. It's still light in here. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> I'm gonna cover up the panel and you can see it's on. Okay. And when you hold it down, blinks three times, it goes off. You hold it down, it blinks twice, and then it comes on. And because the sensor on the top for the solar powering um, also acts as a sensor, so it'll come on automatically when it's dark. And by doing this, we cut off the light supply to the sensor. Hence, it came on. Because for a minute, I'm like, oh, it must not be working. So, <laughs> but that's, anyway, that's how it works. And you hold it down, it'll bl blink three times when you want it off, and it's off. So, why don't we go ahead and we'll wait for the nighttime, we'll take it out and we'll see if we can uh, cook some bugs. Okay, so you had a night full of bug killing. And as it says on the box, self-cleaning. Now you may be wondering, how does it self-clean? Well, that's a pretty good question because there's nothing on the box or the instructions that shows about how it goes about cleaning. You can see the bugs on it, but there is a handle on the bottom. And you can see where you can lock it and unlock it. When you unlock it, bottom comes out and hopefully you guys can you see. see up into it and when you want to relock it you put the thing back on the bottom and that's the bug catcher okay so we emptied out the bottom bin you you don't really have to do that until after it's clean but I just wanted to show you what it looked like so when you want to clean, there's a brush on the inside. And what the brush is going to do is actually going to rotate. It's going to go clockwise and then it's going to go counterclockwise. And then the rest of the bugs that are stuck are going to fall into the chamber and then we're going to empty them out. So in order to activate the brush, you push the button on top and you hold it for five seconds. And just like that, they're all gone from the screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty it out. And you can see the bugs. And you just
and then you put the, the back on and you lock it and just like that it's ready to go again nice and clean and just like new and that my friends is the bug zapper again if you want one i'll put the link where you can get one on amazon and you can see the pricing um you might be able to get a better price on it if it's you know used or brand new or you can try amazon ebay different um whatever shopping outlets you guys like but i just wanted to give you a little demonstration on how it works and it's pretty cool so my friends thank you so much for watching and until my next product review i'll talk to you soon bye bye